Hey guys, so today we are answering a subscriber question and the question in question is Frederick, do you feel, uh, feel embarrassed when you need to ask a senior co-worker about something, uh, about a problem that you feel is silly? So let's get into it. Well, this is, uh, it's a very, It's a very hard, uh, hard thing. This because the thing is that my first, in, like my first thought about this is that of course not. Why would I feel embarrassed? i you know, and then I just think about it from my perspective, and that the problem with this is that my perspective is not really that of a complete beginner anymore. Um, it's not. I've been over, been doing this for a while now, so even you know when I have senior coworkers. I don't feel that anxiety that some, you know, someone who's kind of maybe on their first year or second year of programming would feel where most juniors at that skill level or that level of experience is going to have an enormous amount of stress related to every single thing that has to do with their sensation of how good they are. I've, see, like, I've seen it many, many times now where, and I mean, I did it as well, I'm not going to lie. Having, in, if you're enough of a beginner or if you're junior enough, it gets to this point where every single thing is, you measure yourself against people who are more senior and you feel like if you can't solve a problem in a feasible amount of time, regardless of what that problem is, you feel stupid. Uh, if you're not on time or you feel like you're slow, uh, or you rather you feel slow all the time, you feel like everything is taking too long and you need to ask for help all the time. So. In that sort of scenario, most people, I would say, I haven't, I've so far never met a developer, a junior developer, who doesn't feel embarrassed by this. I have met developers who, like junior developers, who are very humble and, you know, open to learning and things of this nature. But I've never met anyone who is kind of fresh in their career who doesn't feel embarrassed. And, I mean, it's true for me as well. Everybody has to start out somewhere. Now the problem with this is that it's um, if you work if you are working in a very healthy environment, and I'm happy to say that many times I have I have worked in a very poisonous uh, sort of environment as well, where the because and there's a range to this, of course. You see, you, my friend, are unfortunately trying to work in an expert field. And you see the big problem with working, working in an expert field or a, perform, a high performance field is that people's perception of you is very tied into how well you produce. If you know everything and if you can answer everything and how well you communicate these sorts of things to the people around you. And that is a really hard thing f to f to like kind of solve for yourself when you're a junior, because the, let's be honest here, I, I, and this is just me, my personal experience, and I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people out there who've had a similar experience where, you know, when you start out as a junior, some very naive, and I'm not saying like inexperienced job providers or like non-developers, non-technical people, will just look at you as in a very similar way to that of somebody who is more experienced. And the problem with that is that, you know, e even though you are an expert, an expert has to start somewhere. A master surgeon doesn't start out as a master surgeon. They start out like a scared college kid, be barely able to just take a blood sample. And that's the thing, like if you people get to you at that exact point and they don't have a very good understanding, like if they, lack like wisdom or and perception, they will judge you because you don't give them that sensation of really knowing your stuff. And that is a very common problem with juniors where, you know, the, you get employed for something and then you have a lot of questions or you feel like you need help and stuff of this nature. And then you're in this, well, sort of toxic, envi toxic environment 
where you either have seniors who don't want to be bothered by you because, hey, you're intruding on their job time and things of this nature. Now, I'm not saying that you shouldn't respect people's time. You should respect people's time, but I've seen cases where like seniors who are, like they don't give a fuck about you and they don't give a fuck about most. And, and usually what happens is that, I mean, if you get into a real software company and you have coworkers who don't want to help you or are unwilling to invest time in like training you, then they most likely don't even care about the company or at the very least, all they really care about is how they can progress within that company. And that sort of selfish behavior within an IT company is very destructive, not only to the company, but to the, to, of course, to the people who are being um, getting hired as new people. I have a video where I kind of touch on this as well, where if you have developers like that in your company, that should be a much bigger concern to you than if you have someone who is, uh, you know, inexperienced. But of course, this is IT, so nobody really thinks about that sort of stuff. So there is a prestige to it to a certain point. And I'm sorry to say that there, the only way to kind of fix this sort of thing is to, well, this is another video that I made as well where I tried to tell you about finding the right employer because in the beginning you're going to have a lot of questions and unless you are already pretty naturally skilled at what you do and you find the right sort of company, it's, it might actually be very hard for you to get any help and you're going to feel embarrassed. And the thing that's going to dictate whether or not you stick with that company or if you make it further in your career is if you feel, well, if you don't, if the embarrassment is at a manageable level, because if you, I mean, you can think of it from the company perspective as well. If the company is in some fashion punishing junior developers for asking questions and trying to improve their own skill set, if you perceive them as just being a burden or if you, I don't know, in some fashion make them feel like the dumbest people are, are, are you know, alive. Because trust me, they already feel that way if they're sitting next to senior coworkers. But if you, may, if you emphasize that even more, they're just going to get even more scared and very likely going to just take even longer to get onboarded and up to scratch and get productive. So what I want you to take away from this is basically that, yeah, I, I have never met a developer, a junior developer who isn't in some fashion embarrassed by asking stupid questions from their senior coworkers. I felt this way. I know for a fact that most of my coworkers felt this way. I have coworkers today who feels this way. They are scared. Abso they are absolutely scared shitless of me personally. Like I try to be the nicest person in the world and really, really go into making sure that I don't scare them by just feel, uh, but it's very hard because as I said, it's a personal perspective, per perception type of thing. And the issue from the company, uh, the, the issue with this is basically that even if you are, even if it should be okay for you to ask questions and have stupid questions because you know you're learning you're becoming an expert right now some companies and some employers will actually judge you just off the bat because you're not smart enough and i'm sorry to say that that is something that you're just going to have to deal with if you have a company like that and you feel that not enough is enough then you need to find another company and that's why i tell you it's important to find the right company and just not any you know not just any company so uh, hopefully I can, uh, hopefully this will mitigate some of the stress because trust me, if you feel stupid for asking a senior co or embarrassed, if you feel that way for as by, uh, when you ask a, a senior coworker something, you're not alone. Every, pretty much every junior feels that way. Just make sure that you try to tell yourself that you are, you're not an expert right now. You're trying to get there. And in that, the road to getting there is a little bit rough in the start of things, but things will smooth out sooner or later. You just have to stick by your guns. Have a great day.